Hi, boys and girls. If you would open your social studies book to page 50 and follow along while we talk about the things that are on these pages that are at the end of Unit 1. This page is about Hopewell Culture and the National Historic Park for Hopewell Culture. The Hopewell Culture National Historic Park is in southern Ohio near Chillicothe. Within the park are earthworks built by the Hopewell. There is also a museum where Hopewell pottery, copper, copper pieces, mica ornaments, and other artifacts are displayed. Historic photographs, exhibits, videos, and special events allow visitors to experience what life was like for the Hopewell. Visitors to the park can walk on a trail through Mound City, an area with many mounds. Along the trail, people can look at and learn more about Hopewell culture. So this is a map of the area where the National Historical Park for Hopewell Culture is located. And these are mounds right here. The next page shows some um, artifacts from the Hopewell Culture. The Hopewell buried many items in their mounds. At the park's visitor center, exhibits show some of the artifacts scientists have discovered. So this is a frog and salamander sculpture. It's probably made out of copper because of these gold places on it, and it has turned green, which is what color copper tarnishes to. At the top here is a mica hand. Mica is a type of rock, but it is a rock that flakes off in very thin layers. So this hand was made out of that kind of stone. This is a bear priest. So um, we believe that this is a sculpture of a medicine man or a shaman who was wearing a bear skin as either a costume or a disguise or um, for some reason he's wearing this bear skin over him and you can see the bear's head over the top of his head. This is a Hopewell star, which is probably also made out of copper. And this is a photograph of the central mound, so you can get an idea of how big some of the mounds were. Remember that when they built these mounds, they didn't have any backhoes or bulldozers. They carried all of this um, soil by hand from some other place to here and piled it all up to make this big hill. And down here is another a picture of a mound. If you turn to page 52, this page has some uh, puzzles and games to help you review what you learned in this unit. So um, you should read these and see if you can figure out which one of these three kids lives in Ohio. Um, do this museum mix up and see if you can figure out what the two correct answers are. And then on this page, this is a vocabulary activity, and finding the answers that match these and fit in these blanks. Please don't write in your social studies book, but you can write these words all on another sheet of paper. And then it says, what's under there? So in this picture, this Indian girl is lifting something up, and it says write the letters that belong in the yellow squares and you'll know. So once you look up these six vocabulary, find the letters that are in the yellow boxes, and that will give you the answer to this question. Okay. Um, unfortunately, this online, um, online website is no longer available, so you'll have to skip over this part. On page 54 and 55 is a review of this unit. I recommend before you take this test that you go through these questions and make sure that you know the answers to them. If there are any questions in here that you do not, uh, can't figure out the answer to or do not know the answer to, you may ask me in any of our Zoom morning meetings to go over that question. And I will. But we have vocabulary, a word bank of words that you should know, um, timeline, and multiple choice questions and short answer questions about facts and main ideas, and then a picture of an elevation map. 
Down here is the key that shows you how tall the different areas or how high the elevation of the different areas are. So I recommend that you go through these. You will see some of these questions um, again, but um, I'm not going to be taking this review as a separate grade. This is just to help you review for the test.